She really uh, makes life easier for me. She helps me get dressed and know what to wear. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Gerald. You know, uh, just this is our last song, and I want to, I think it's good to end with what Keolia uh, Glory is going to perform. The Hawaiian culture is huge, and I think all any of us can do is just really see a small part of it. We can choose to immerse ourselves in whatever art form we desire. In Gloria's case, she studied hua for many years and uh, has become a, a student of that art form. Just to let you know, the, stu the hula in Hawaii, I was talking over with this over with Don Keen yesterday, this, the, the hula as an art form in Hawaii is one that is always accompanied by vocals, by the message that is in the song. In so many other um, Polynesian dances, it's mostly rhythmical, uh, but with hula, you can't do the hula without the language, whether it's the English language or Hawaiian. You will always, you will always see the hula performed with words. That is because the hula is an interpretive dance. It's not a rhythmic dance, it's, a, it's very rhythmic, but it's, it's primarily an interpretive dance to take the song and, and, and describe it in physical form. Now in Hawaii, truly, truly, the music we've played all week and weekend, wonderful music, and it is part of Hawaiian music, uh, but if you go back to the endemic musical style of Hawaiians, it was primarily chants performed with implements. All the instruments you see on stage, with the exception of the Hawaiian guitar, originated in Europe, right? So Hawaiians um, today, music, Hawaiian music today is an amalgam of all these cultural art forms that come together. I think it's beautiful. What you will see in Keolia's, Keolia's rendition is a, is a song that was originally, originally written as a chant. And it describes among just something really simple, going down to the ocean and gathering treasures of the sea. And for Hawaiians, that wasn't, you know, the Atocha with gold coins and things. It was just limu or seaweed. That was the treasure to the Hawaiians, you see. And so, Auntie Edith, uh, uh, sorry, Alice, uh, Edith Kanake Ole wrote this song in chant form and they, she converted it to a, a melodic song that, that we can play on stage for you and that Gloria can interpret. Here now is Kauru Vehi Okikai, The Treasures of the Sea. Okay, we're rehearsing on stage. Here we're now is Kaulu Vego Kikai. Thank you. 
Elliott is up next.